Today, we're making pink velvet macaroons for the cocktail table topiaries. And I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with macaroons. In fact, when I lived in Paris, I made macaroon tasting my hobby. I got a map of the city, and I went to every single pastry shop and tasted macaroons. Powdered sugar. We're gonna use one and a quarter cups. I've got almond flour. All you need is two thirds cup. Then you're gonna just do a pinch of salt. We're halfway there. So, two egg whites. So to the egg whites, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. You know, vanilla goes in every single thing. And a quarter teaspoon of red food coloring. One tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna whip these to a firm peak. You want them shiny, you want it big, because that's the secret to this cookie. And we've got it. Look at those. Firm, shiny peaks, that's beautiful. So here's the trick to a great macaroon. And it's actually a pretty important one. It's called macarooning. I'm gonna take a little bit, probably a third of the whites, and I'm just gonna toss them around in the dry ingredients. The point is to moisten all of the dry ingredients that we have. After we get done folding, and you can see that the dry ingredients have been absorbed by those egg whites, what we're gonna start doing is taking a rubber spatula and running it over the egg whites. This is the macarooning part. We're trying to create a shine and a gloss in our batter. See that? And that's what we want. The way I found to make a uniform cookie is to use a template. And I make it just with parchment paper. We have a ring mold. You can use a biscuit cutter. You can use anything you have in your house that's like a silver dollar. Just make your little circles. Super easy. So you don't get any ink on your cookies. Don't forget to flip the parchment. OK, time to start piping. These have to rest for 30 minutes because we want to make a crust on the outside of the cookie. That shiny shell that you see, that's what this is going to do. After that, they go into the oven. 300 degrees, 17 to 20 minutes, and we're going to have perfection. That leaves me just enough time to finish the cocktail table topiaries. I got a seven inch styrofoam sphere. You can get this at any craft store. What I have here is a firm, firm buttercream frosting. We're going to do a really thin coat. So we're gonna use toothpicks to anchor our macarons. Voila. Now I'm just gonna start making little cute pom-poms right in the center of these macarons. The common thread of all of these home projects, these do-it-yourself projects, is that you're adding yourself. You're adding that personal touch to your party.